Okay, today we're going to be talking about the Ascension Altar and Clan Rank. This is because with the advent of the Bash Lab, a lot of people have made it very, very clear to me that they have no idea what they're doing with their Clan Rank or how things actually function in that regard. None of the videos I've seen available presently answered your questions or my own personal ones, so I went out of my way to test things and answer them for you. So we'll start with the simple stuff. Clan Rank is upped by earning Clan Affinity. Clan Affinity is earned by completing research projects, building specific items in the dojo, or constructing certain rooms. You can check how much affinity you have, or how much you need, or how much you still need to finish by going to your clan menu, and then going to your projects, and then you'll be able to see how much out of how much you have. So in my case, I have 212 out of 213. And if I scroll to the bottom, I see that the only thing I'm missing is the regular obstacle course. Now this is where affinity can start to get weird, because if you know me, and if you've been to my clan while it was featured, some of you have have run the default obstacle course, so you know that I've built one. But because I don't have one presently built, I don't have the affinity for that. So it means that it's not just having built it at any point in time. It's not like mastery rank. You have to have one presently built in order to count the affinity for it. To show something weird real quick, for kicks and giggles, I've gone ahead and placed down an obstacle course. Now, it's not funded yet, but because it is placed, if we go and look at the clan menu, it's actually going to show as marked off on the research list. It shows that it's giving the affinity, but if we look at our actual clan affinity, we can see that we aren't getting the rank for that, or else we would be rank 11. It's a bit of an odd bug, but I just wanted to make people aware of it in case they're going down their list and wondering why on earth they haven't been able to get the rank up that they want, despite having supposedly marked everything off on the list. Now, of course, as soon as I fund and rush this obstacle course, you see that now I have the affinity, and if I cursor over it says it's ready for the ascension ceremony and to go to my dojo. Once you're at this point, you can simply pull up the decoration menu and pull out the ascension altar and place it just about anywhere you would like, although please try to make sure that you put it in a place that your other clan members can find with ease, otherwise you're a schmuck. Now you'll see here, I almost went ahead and started the ceremony, but I had a personal question of, can anyone in the clan, no matter their rank and permission, start the ceremony, or do they have to have certain permissions? So to answer that question, I made sure that the base rank in my clan had absolutely no permissions, and then I gave a friend of mine founding warlord and told him to demote me to the base rank so that way we could test this. I will never trust another human like I do Mar. After the ranks changed hands, I refreshed the dojo instance just to be safe, and went to start it, and to no nobody's surprise, it actually works. There is no way to stop anyone from starting the ceremony, and this is particularly dangerous in a ghost clan, because at ghost, it only takes one person to start the ceremony. I'll circle back to the dangers here in a moment, but the actual people required in order to start the ceremony doesn't seem to follow the 1, 3, 10, 30, 100 multiplier that clan tier costs typically go by. Instead, the amount of people goes off of 1, 5, 15, 30, and 50. Circling back to the dangers, though, if you don't plan it out, some of your clan members might end up missing out on the endo. There's a misunderstanding in how this functions, and a lot of people believe that people need to be in the clan for a very specific set time in order to participate in the ceremony. But it's actually dynamic, and it depends on the rank you're going to. So if you are going to clan rank 1, then members need to have been in the clan for at least one day in order to participate. In my case, however, we were going to clan rank 11, meaning that people need to have been in my clan at least 11 days in order to participate. And just to confirm this, I kicked Odin, as soon as we started the ceremony, before he had a chance to participate, and then had him join back and participate, and sure enough, this is the message he got. I may or may not owe Odin some endo. <laughs> now thankfully these days, once the ceremony starts, typically an inbox message is sent to everyone in the clan. And as you saw before, if you were watching, once you do start it, you get 72 hours before the ceremony ends. The rank up ceremony does not have to happen for every single rank that you achieve. You can wait until you've completed everything, and then go from rank 0 to rank 11 in one giant leap if you would like. The reward for participating in the ceremony is the current rank times 1000 endo. So in my case, I went to rank 11, so I got 11,000 endo. Now this happens for every single rank that you have achieved. Now, because I've already done this, I've already gotten endo for ranks 1 through 10, and most of the people in my clan have as well. Don't misunderstand though, this does not mean that you can jump around to different clans that are all going up to rank 11, and get endo from ranks 1 through 10 just for joining in on that clan and sticking around 11 days. Once a ceremony has occurred, nobody, past or future, can ever get endo for those old ranks ever again. Now let's revisit the uh, bit where I talked about how you need to have a currently built room or uh, structure in order for it to count for affinity. Now a common question that I've been asked, and something I was kind of curious about as well, is what happens after you've ranked up if you remove some of the things that were giving you affinity? And the answer is nothing. 
thing. So in my case, I went back and I destroyed the obstacle course that I had placed in order to rank up. I had actually done that in the middle of the ceremony, so before my ceremony had even completed, I destroyed what gave me the rank. That being said, though, we still ranked up to rank 11, and then we are missing it. It just doesn't show exactly where our affinity is. And so in the future, we're going to get to rank 12 when things come out and make that possible. I'm going to have to rebuild that in order to get back up there. Uh, but otherwise, you do retain your rank if you destroy things that got you there. It's just after that, it's not really needed unless you're banking on another rank up happening anytime soon. I've also been asked a lot if clan rank has to do with literally anything besides getting the endo. And the answer is no, it has nothing to do with anything whatsoever other than EP and that's it. And then with that, I think we have covered everything we needed to regarding clan rank.